The Gulfstream G650 has set the bar high for many years. It can fly across the Pacific Ocean in a single flight, thanks to its impressive 7,500 mile range. This is also an extremely fast machine, having completed the 11,000 kilometer New York to Tokyo route in 12 hours 40 minutes. It was the favorite of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. It, however, has since been dethroned. The Gulfstream G700, a $75 million aircraft with a range of up to 7,500 nautical miles and two Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines, has recently made its premiere. There has never been a more expensive American aircraft built. Let's take a look at what makes the new Gulfstream flagship unique and how it adds new elements to private air travel in the most exclusive way possible in today's video. For starters, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of our new videos and don't forget to thumbs up this video. Let's get started. The Gulfstream G700 is the American manufacturer's most expensive aircraft to date as its new flagship private jet, costing $75 million. It boasts unrivaled speed, range, and interior space. The aircraft is powered by two Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines, which give it a top speed of Mach 0.925 and a maximum range of 7,500 nautical miles. The Gulfstream G700 is an ultra-long-range jet that can fly from Doha to New York in 12 hours, which is much faster than the modern commercial aircraft. Commercial airlines take almost 14 hours to do the same journey. Because of its great range, it could fly non-stop between places such as New York and Johannesburg, London and Santiago, Chile, and even Hong Kong and Dallas. The Titan of the Skies is another name for the Gulfstream G700. The Gulfstream G700 is designed to provide the highest level of luxury in the sky. Even in an otherwise empty aircraft hangar, the G700 appears to be enormous. Nearly the entire hangar for airliners is taken up by its 103-foot wingspan. Even with a passenger manifest consisting of Gulfstream pilots, engineers, and other personnel, the aircraft's voyage to Doha during its display was proof enough of its capabilities. The 6,711 nautical mile journey from Savannah, Georgia took only 13 hours and 16 minutes, according to Gulfstream, setting a new speed record for the city pair. When boarding the jet, air stairs are placed so that passengers can go straight into the plane instead of going up to the main door. The path is illuminated and has railings on both sides. Everything is bigger on the G700, and the galley is no exception to that rule. As a result of customer feedback, the Ultra Galley on this aircraft was constructed to have a huge cold storage compartment. Cabin attendants use the onboard oven and microwave to prepare restaurant quality food. All food varieties are available from breakfast to dinner and everything in between. Flyers can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the same flight, which can last up to 13 hours. At six feet, three inches in height and eight feet, two inches across, Gulfstream designed the passenger cabin to be the largest and broadest in the industry. It is taller and wider than its main competitor in the ultra-long-range category, the Bombardier Global 7500. The Gulfstream G700 has a 56-foot and 11-inch cabin with up to five living zones, allowing owners to be as creative as they like, and Gulfstream will work closely with them to get their desired look. Despite the fact that this aircraft is only equipped for 15 people, the G700 has a maximum capacity of 19 passengers, allowing the owners to have as many or as few seats as they like. Regardless, there is plenty of space in the cabin. The cabin is 19.41 meters in length, 2.49 meters in width, and 1.91 meters in height. The cabin, according to Gulfstream, is the most spacious in the industry. The first of four living areas on this plane consists of two sets of club seats, Almost every private jet has these seats, which are great for taking off, landing, and relaxing during a cruise flight. This section is also where the principal passenger typically sits. The G700 has an ergonomic seat design that has won numerous awards. Individual pocket tables can be used for everything from eating to working on a computer to playing cards. For example, making them both stylish and functional. The table also has a minor function that allows it to instantly pop up for passengers 
rather than the typical approach of pushing down on the table to extend it from the sidewall. Each seat on the plane has its own passenger control unit that regulates lighting, entertainment, window forms, and other components of the cabin. However, each seat has standard seat controls. Thus, passengers do not need to utilize a gadget to open a window. The compartment will contain 100% fresh, never recycled air, and noise levels that are hardly audible. There are 20 large windows, and the lighting system has been designed to mimic circadian rhythms even when the windows are closed, so that passengers can have a good night's sleep on long haul flights. Following that is the entertainment section, which has only two seats. The credenza across the room houses a large screen television perfect for catching up on your favorite shows or movies during a long flight. Customers can also choose between a couch and two seats, depending on their preferences. Simply pressing down on the credenza's wooden cover raises the television monitor. The credenza can be used to store a variety of items, including snacks, magazines, and even a food buffet. The credenza's additional storage, including a wine chiller, is another of its perks. The Gulfstream G700's conference and dining section is located right behind the entertainment suite and is perfect for more formal eating or for holding meetings. This section has six seats, four of which are arranged around a fixed table. Leaf over the aisle connects the cabin's two sides, allowing it to be used as one. Furthermore, the private suite is located in the backmost compartment. For added seclusion, a pocket door divides this area from the rest of the plane. Another advantage of wide cabin airplanes like this one is the hideaway, which is great for napping or isolation during a journey. There are two club seats next to a three-person divan that can sleep two people. In this configuration, the cabin is big enough to accommodate a full-size bed that can sleep two, so owners can choose to use it as a bedroom instead of an office. An in-suite bathroom is included in the private suite. This configuration is 53 inches long, but larger lavatory options, including ones with onboard showers, are available. A full-size closet completes the idea of a home away from home. Pilots can also take advantage of the aircraft's luxury, as a crew rest area is required on long-haul flights, requiring additional pilots. A cabin attendant can use it in the same way on shorter flights. It has a recliner seat that can be converted into a bed with a mattress pad on top that measures 88 inches in length. Also included are two windows, a storage box, and an in-flight entertainment screen. What are the features of the Gulfstream G700's cockpit? The cockpit is where the plane does its business, and it too has been modified with new features. A cockpit reminiscent of a sports car with an all-black interior, leather seats, and a sleek design is required for an extremely fast jet. A symmetry flight deck with active control side sticks and touchscreen avionics integrated with Gulfstream's proprietary phase of flight intelligence is included in the G700. Aircraft startup time and pilot workload are both reduced as a result. The symmetry cockpit is powered by Honeywell Aerospace's Primus Epic avionics with touchscreens replacing many of the buttons and switches. Everything in the cockpit is geared toward making the pilot's job easier, and as a result, lowering fatigue levels. It's designed to keep pilots alert and aware while flying the long haul missions that the G700 is capable of. Pilots can see the runway and terrain through the clouds thanks to the heads up display, which is used on fighter jets and a rising number of modern commercial and private jets. The enhanced flight vision system with two head-up displays will allow pilots to land aircraft significantly more safely, because crucial information such as velocity, vertical speed, and altitude are presented. Landing in bad weather is possible and safer. There's also the predictive landing performance system, which aids pilots and improves landing safety. Airplanes equipped with active flight controls have side sticks that both pilots can use at the same time, allowing them to keep track of each other's movements. This in contrast to some commercial aircraft, which have side sticks that operate independently, resulting in pilots accidentally fighting for control of the plane. Because of the cockpit's minimalism, pilots can have the plane ready for takeoff in 10 minutes or less, assuming it's fueled and provisioned. Every new feature of the Gulfstream G700 is designed to enhance the flying experience to a level that is unmatched in the commercial airline industry. Even with their exorbitantly high purchase and running costs, ultra-long-range airplanes are in high demand, demonstrating how highly the wealthy value the one thing that money cannot buy, time. 
and the pricey G700 is an obvious time saver. That's all for now. If you have any thoughts on the Gulfstream G700, kindly share them with us below in the comments section. Like always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates and new content. See you soon.